Hey there folks, and welcome back to Arcane. Today we're gonna to be finishing up the second chunk of episodes with episode six, When These Walls Come Tumbling Down. It looks like this episode's about two minutes longer than most of the other ones, so uh, I'm expecting a climactic end of act kind of uh, confrontation. Similar to episode three, though, I'm not expecting it to go quite as hard as that one, because that still is some of the hardest I've ever seen an episode of TV go. Uh, but thank you for clicking on this video to watch along with me. Uh, quick social media plug, uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I'm at HeyTallman at both places. And please don't forget to like, I never, I always say the other social media plugs, but I never say, if you enjoy this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, it's like basic YouTube stuff and I forget it every time. Uh, but episode five, what a dense episode that was. Uh, there was just so much packed in. In the editing, it's it's it was difficult to figure out what bits to cut because there's just so much I wanted to keep in because so much of it felt important. Um, but one other thing about this series that I wanted to talk about uh, before I start this episode is how uh, remarkable it is that we have so many like main characters that we're focusing on and how there's really not any character that really fits the mold of antagonist. Now, the closest we have just from a viewpoint perspective is Silco as an antagonist. But even then, uh, if Silco's an antagonist, then that makes Jinx an antagonist by proxy, and she's not. She's portrayed as one of our protagonists. So it's, it's just really interesting that we have so many characters with so many diverse motivations and stuff and how I feel like I'm brooding for like all of our main characters. And I know it's gonna be so tragic when they inevitably come together, uh, probably at the end of the series to uh, to all fight each other. And I don't know if everyone's gonna survive or not. Uh, it's just, just something I was thinking about, about how the story's laid out and stuff that I think is really interesting compared to uh, pretty much any other show I've seen because there's always clear cut heroes and villains. And here it's like, these are just the characters as they are kind of. Um, Yes, uh, that's really all I want to say. I feel like this is one of the shorter intros I've done of these, but I'm just really excited to hop into this next episode. So I'm going to get into position. Did I say position? Position. And uh, let us get going with episode six, When These Walls Come Tumbling Down. Starting up in three, two, one, let's go. Is this going to be another flashback? Like to when... Vi and Jinx were like much younger. It's a little too bright for everything that's been. Oh, it's a flashback to Victor. You can tell because he has his cane still. Look at him just playing by himself. That's like sad, but you can tell even at the young age, he still had a knack for machinery and building things and making stuff. And he's just, you know, look at him. He's just so satisfied to have this going for him. I really hope a bully doesn't come and smash it. Either way, I'm nervous. We can't have nice things in this show. And he lost it forever, huh? Is this where he finds, like... Huh. Are the, uh, Hextech crystals based off of, like, a natural resource thing, then? You built this. Why aren't you playing with the others? This is why. Learning Unfortunately. This is often the byproduct of a gifted mind. She's dying. No. I'm attempting to prevent that. The mutation must survive. Interesting. That scene went way differently than I thought it was going to go. I heard your prognosis. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. Yeah, it's one of those things Can like... You contemplate death, Professor? Only that of friends. Yeah, I was going to say, he's... I don't know if his race is immortal or if they just live like super super long time. Oh, Madarta dabbles in the arts. I didn't know you were an artist. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Sorry for disappearing last night. Duty calls. I mean, his friend was kind of in the hospital. That's not as much a walk of shame as oh shit, I have to go help my friend. Victor's dying. He's like my brother. She's like, uh, it's just one Why night, did you buddy. Me with this? Nothing feels impossible when I'm with you. It's been one night, buddy. 
It's a beautiful painting. It's a very large painting. I'm so envious of people that can just like make stuff like that. My uh, visual artistic skills are little to none. Emphasis on the none. So he was passed out when that thing was reacting to his blood. So I wonder if he's gonna like realize it here. Oh, it's still there. Or has it like bonded to him because of his blood? Ooh, a song already. Is this the last drop? Just yeah. during the day? Theorem. Uh, my name's Theorem. Nice try, Chuck. His name's Theorem? As in... What's all the hubbub? Theory? Uh, boss wants us to grab someone up. As in a little what? bit more than a hypothesis? Anyone? Who are you grabbing? Some girls. Focus. Who are they? Why wasn't I invited to the party? Man, I, I don't know. Maybe they got a <laughs> fight with Savika. She just drinks and swallows the... Uh... Oh, really? You're doing great, Chuck. Here, for your troubles. Uh, my name is Hypothesis. Oh, God. Okay. At least it wasn't one of the deadly ones. Scared me for a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. She got gutted. I was just editing this last night, and I saw that, and I completely forgot already. Ah, they made it to Blighttown, I see. Frame rate's keeping up pretty good. Oh, she's just going for it. Ah, that felt painful. Oh, God. Caitlin's like, well, time to take my slow way down again. Oh, are these the fire lights? We lost her. Lost who? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. She's just, like, ready. She, like, home alone the whole place. Knowing that Vi would show up eventually. Well, is that it for Savika? Probably just passed out. Yeah, she's coming, too. <sighs> Feel like you and I got off on the wrong arm. <laughs> Maybe we should try the other. Oh, God. No need. It's your sister. Okay, so the memories are still She's there. For you. Guess she replaced you. You're lying. Oh, Caitlin does have blue hair too. It's hard for me to know how much it's actually affecting her, how much the last episode actually like took to her. Also, here's Marcus, who I feel like I've cut every scene that he's been in. <laughs> There's just this whole plot line with him and everything going on. It's just like, ah, about time Daddy joined us. Oh God, you were so busy. That's Your horrifying. Saw me in. That's legitimately like really scary. At Isn't least Silco sad? has the decency to Could like imagine speak in coded terms around the little girl. She's like I said, he's the closest thing we have to an antagonist, place. but he's not She's in the purely lands. evil. He could have the girl like okay. tied up and just been Roughly like, been waiting for you. Caitlin, she's a cure. Instead, he seems like he's just being like genuinely nice to this girl. I... Then of what well, this is at least one scene with Marcus that's gonna stay in, I guess. I'll track her down. I can fix this. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, so sorry. Accidents happen. Okay, so he was at least a little bit evil to the child. Okay, so what's going on here? I think I said last time, like, what are you about to discover? It responds to organic oh. matter. Whoa. Oh, is this the start of the jungles? Is this why there's jungles in League of Legends? This is unlike anything we've ever seen, Jess. Oh. Never mind. Not so lush jungles it's after all. We'll solve this. There may not be time. We're in uncharted waters here, and... I mean, when have they not I been, though? I heal my body. I feel like okay. everything that they've done has been uncharted waters up to I'll this have point. i bring Heimerdinger. He might know something that could help. Hang on. I'm actually going to pause, like, for the first time this whole series. Um, I like that Jace is also, like, inventive and smart and everything, and not just, like, the 
persuasive charismatic guy that got um like victor all of his work from the you know the forefront with victor staying in the sidelines i'm glad that jace is actually like smart and inventive as well because that could have made their whole dynamic play a whole different way if it was just jace was like the fast talking uh hey i can get the investors i can get people to do whatever i say kind of thing and victor was like the mastermind behind all this uh it helps that you know jace has the history of the research and everything as well so he we know that he is actually really intelligent as well so i'm glad that he in victor's time of need seems to be putting his newfound love of politics stuff to the side in order to try to figure this out with his friend pretty decent guy overall i would say at least so far. What is this place? It's where the kind of people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up. Oh, is this is this the underground to the underground? Yo, it's literally Blight Town, like I was saying. Yo, I just I saw the boards and the planks and everything, and I was like, cool, I'll just make a Dark Souls joke and say Blight Town, but it's, it feels like it. She, uh, she's seeing her and Powder as kids playing down there and everything. Oh, is that like where they grew up before Vander took them in? I'm calling it the Hex Core. Hex Core. It's an adaptive rune matrix. It's, it's, it's groundbreaking. What's most I love that callback to Heimerdinger's pet being like very wary of the technology. Oh, what has Heimerdinger seen? You must destroy it. Oh, oh God. I've seen nations destroyed by a single seed, and it looked exactly like this. Professor, this yeah, I was gonna say Heimerdinger life. said in like episode Victor, one or two or different. something. You've changed. That's your opinion. Well, yeah, the like course. they don't know what he's seen. He should explain himself a little better, for my benefit as well. <laughs> Oh, I just realized a little bandage on the horn. She makes potions. Helps people here with... With... This. Shimmer. Why would you take something that does that to you? It's addicting. There was a comment on one of my earlier videos, kind of talking about what Shimmer is and what it does and everything, and that it's... Uh, it seems like a very apt comparison now to compare it to opioids in the modern day. How in small doses they have medicinal or healing properties but you know very addictive and everything oh we must hold each other accountable and who holds you accountable what Show oh, no. rampant in the Undercity attacks at the Hex Gates and oh, the is he, try, is he gonna try to get and Heimerdinger like fear to set foot in the kicked off the council? All under your watch. I see what this is about. Your Hextech projects need more time, more safeguards. Humans don't live for centuries. Dang. We can't wait for progress. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well deserved retirement. Dang. Jeez. Don't do this. So that guy straight up founded Piltover? I guess so. He would have been about 100 because they just had their bicentennial progress day, right? It has to be unanimous. All it takes is one to start. With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. And now the rest fall in line, right? Dang, that sucks. Heimerdinger's a real one. Let's see how this affects her. It was just like one drop. Easy, easy, easy. We need Ooh. You back on your feet. I saw that. Carrying over from the brothel scene from uh Jinx. from last I time. Forget. Oh, does he just straight up go down there? Prodigy. Dang. I thought she was going to open the door and it was going to open into a flashback of her parents getting killed. I regretted that we've never had the opportunity to speak. That would have been a really neat little way to show that. Oh. 
what have I mean, you done with I my get sister? it. It just sucks to see. Oh, she is more than I ever imagined. Oh god, that's like the most they've ever seen, probably. They're just like getting in on it. They don't know any better. You don't know your limits, girl. It's what God banned you. That's so gnarly. I'm just yeah, remembering well. the title. When these walls come crumb crumbling down. You talk too much. She got that. She got that Epo punch. There's no way Silco gets got here, right? I don't know how much time is left, but uh, so far, at least compared to the Act 1 finale, this has been like a lot more tame. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. When was that? I'm try. Oh man, I'm trying to remember if that's something that was said in Act One that she straight up gave her. It's been so long since I've seen any of those like first ones. Oh my. Oh, her friends are still with her. Like the memories, that is. That's a cool shot to juxtapose the uh, the bullets being loaded into the gun with them sliding down that tube. Is he stuck down there? Like, is he? Ba did she basically just like seal the exit? I mean, they had to get out somehow. Or is he just upset because he missed his chance to deal with Vi? Dang, is this like a full lockdown? Yeah, they're like straight up setting up like border checks. That song was mid. That was like. Maybe my least favorite song so far. I mean, I get it. It's somber, fitting with the tone of, of everything. I understand. Oh, shoot. He's coming to him again now. Wow. It all makes sense. Okay, he got out of there. Oh, she left a map for it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Imagine just getting, like, offed and then, like, your body just serves as, like, a message. A literal message. Now, because Vi isn't there, like, right now, she's gonna think, Oh, yeah, she did lie to me. Powder? Oh, no, she's there. She made it. Alright, this is what I've been waiting for, and I'm, like, super nervous as to how this is gonna go. Though I know that neither of them are gonna die here, because there's three more episodes. But I have no idea how this is gonna go. Are you real? Yes, of course. It's me, Vi. Your sister, I'm I like, I'm can't even say here. anything, because I'm just like... Things changed when you left. Oh no. She's gonna see Caitlin and Who's she? It's oh okay. no. She's a friend. Savika wasn't lying? You're with an enforcer? She even has blue hair too. Your sister is Jinx. It's Jinx now. Powder fell down a well. You're not a jinx. God, I never should Stop talking to me like I'm a child! But you wouldn't miss her. Powder! That's like horrifying. Someone spinning up a minigun right in your face. You want, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to abandon you again. Everyone, shut up! I need to think. Oh God. Do you hear that? Oh, it's them. Well, that's a real an opportune time to show up. I mean, we saw them earlier in the episode, but like, haven't gotten anything from or about them since they showed up in one scene in episode four. All those shots of the little Hextech stone are uh, making me nervous. We start fighting alongside each other at this point. Nice catch. Oh, that was Caitlyn that caught that. Did she just take a second to notice how, like, Brutal and in dang that kick. Brutal and insane Jinx is being. 
Whoa! Oh, that was sick. That dodge, though. That was like the coldest thing I've seen in this whole series so far. Yeah, she's starting to see this isn't my sister anymore. That's neat. Get the board. And another act ends with Vi being incapacitated. Ooh. Well, this didn't go the way I was expecting it to go. Is that it? No, it's not it. But now we have Jinx alone once again. I... No! Okay. Well, that was... Hmm. I'm trying to think like what I want to say and how I feel. So like I think I said a couple times, or at least I said at least once, uh, that was a lot more tame than episode three, I would say. Um, uh, it almost felt like a, like while episode three was like a blatant, like hard stop to act one, this feels almost just like a, a continuation, like not as much an end of an act as just another scene in it. Um, I would almost go so far to say, like, I know that this changes, it changes the dynamics between uh, Jinx and Vi a lot, seeing that Vi, like, came back for her, and that Vi really wasn't intending on leaving her, even if, right at the tail end of that fight, she was starting to notice, like, wow, this isn't my sister that I once knew anymore. Um, but at least up until that point, Vi wasn't planning on leaving Jinx like she promised she wouldn't. Um, but Vi was taken once again. Um, man, Vi just has the worst luck. Um, I'm assuming episode nine is going to, after everything is resolved, like somebody's going to come out of nowhere and like comically like take a vaudeville cane and yank Vi off the screen. Um, and that's, and then the show is going to end with like circus music. playing. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but yeah, this felt like, I don't want to say I'm disappointed in the episode, but just, with the sheer bombast that um, episode three provided, I feel like we got a lot more intense action. Like episode five almost felt like the end of act two a bit more because it ended with everyone else realizing that Vi is out of prison kind of thing. I feel like that was enough of a change, like an end of act kind of like, well, now what's going to happen now that, now that Jinx knows that Vi is out kind of thing that we would have like a two episode like act two and then like a four episode act three so i don't know if just like in my brain i was thinking about it in the wrong way but um but that's how i feel right after the episode uh still wondering when and if we'll ever see echo uh i have just have it in my brain that he's gonna show up at some point that we're not done with that boy yet because i'm pretty dang sure he survived we at least didn't see his corpse among uh, Jinx's visions and everything that, of people that she knows are dead that are haunting her. Um, interesting that she like you know still hears their voices and was telling them to shut up even with like in conversation with other people. Um, so let's see. So Caitlyn, Caitlyn got knocked out, and I'm assuming left there. So I wonder if we're gonna get a, we're probably not gonna get a Jinx and Caitlyn pair up in Act Three or like the next chunk of episodes, right? I would not expect that to happen. Um, but yeah, uh, I, once again, I just feel like this was mostly set up for what's to come, which isn't bad per se, but I feel like I, I had my expectations set way too high in here. Regardless though, good episode. The show is still continuing to deliver, uh, very admirably. Uh, I haven't even mentioned any of the stuff with, uh, Jace and the council and everything. Uh, curious to see what Victor and his, um, that old guy who wearing the mask i really want to see what that dude's face looks like underneath if he's been like experimenting on himself or just that dude probably looks really messed up um but yeah uh the i just feel bad for heimerdinger i hope he's in the rest of these i hope he has some role to play that he's just not like written out of the show from uh you know being voted off the council that that sucks for that guy he's and it just goes to show like amidst all the shady deals and everything going on I noted last episode, Heimerdinger is a real one. He was the only one who wasn't participating in any of that kind of stuff. Maybe that was his downfall, but um, just feel bad for the guy. Poor run out for a real one, huh? Um, but yeah, that's 
all I feel like I have to say here. Um, probably a terrible mess of an outro, but uh, but hey, thank you once again for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel. It'll take you a second each to do, so why not? Uh, but yeah, come back next time when we will be watching episode seven, starting the first the first episode of the last chunk of three. Uh, and also, I have a poll running on my community tab on my channel for uh, what show I want to tackle next. I kind of want to start the next series I do uh, in tandem with the ending of Arcane, so it's more of a smooth transition. So we'll get like two reaction videos in a week and then shift to um, the next series after after I finish episode nine. Uh, so go vote on that if you haven't. Uh, I have it narrowed down to like my top three I'm thinking of. I think I know it's going to win. Um, but I just want to throw that out there uh, before I start uh, prepping for the next thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's about all I got to say. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.